This is room 706 of the Hyatt Place Inner Harbour Hotel here in Baltimore. So let's go and show you what this room has to offer. Something in the air, always something dead in the air. As you enter the room, you can see it is a very large, spacious room with a king-size bed and a sleeper. I did want to just explain something very quickly before we go into this room tour. Now, usually when Wayne and I do room tours, we do it before we even actually stay in the room. So it's lovely and clean, all fresh for you. But we did have friends staying here the first night and we didn't want to burden them and make them wait outside while we filmed a room tour. So we do apologise that the room isn't as presentable as it should be. We've tried to make it as clean as possible. But before we get into this video, hello, I'm Jessica from Holiday with the Heathers. Wayne is outside with the suitcases. He is my husband. Thank you so much for coming over to our channel. Please also give this video a huge thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But now I'm going to show you what this room has to offer so as you start from the door you will see that there is the emergency evacuation procedures and I'll just hold that on there for you if you would like to read it pretty self-explanatory there is also a peephole to see who is knocking at your door or to see if it's room service there is also an emergency latch to stop people coming in as well as the door lock and the electronic handle as I pull back, there is the main master light switches. One of these also controls a lamp that is on the vanity. And to the left of me is the bathroom, but I will show you that at the end. Further on from the door to the right is a large mirror. So you can check your outfits before you go into Baltimore to explore. Washington DC is only a 25 minute train journey away, so you can go out and enjoy that also. There is a trash can on the floor for you to get rid of all of your rubbish in the room. And then next to the mirror is a mini vanity and a larger one that is just under the television. But on this vanity, there is a phone for you to contact your loved ones or reception. There is also a double plug socket. Now in this room, there are 14 plug sockets, including the two in the bathroom. This is the lamp that I was telling you about that is also controlled by those switches on the wall just there. And there is also another switch for this here. There is also a sign that says, please do not smoke in this hotel. There is some beautiful artwork on the wall also. The ruffles don't come with this hotel, but as we've said, we are checking out of the room, getting ready to fly home back to the UK, which is very sad. We're not gonna be able to take them because we've packed our bags to the brim. So I'm gonna leave them for housekeeping to see if they'd appreciate them. There is also tea and coffee making facilities. Now Wayne has made a few cups of tea in this. I would advise you to fill up a paper cup first. There is usually some paper cups just here, but we've used them all. I advise you to fill it up and then put the water in there so you've got the correct amount of water and then put the cup under there. And before you press this red button, make sure it's all the way back because the water will come out as soon as you press the red button. There is also Twinings tea and there is also sachets with sweetener, sugar, napkins and a stirrer and you can also get creamer from downstairs. This also is given to you on arrival at the hotel. It explains what time the pool is open which is 10am till 8pm. The gym and the patio is 24 hours and it also comes with the Wi-Fi password. And as I pull back, you can see there is a lovely sized office chair for you to sit and do some work or do your makeup or whatever you please. 
there is an ice bucket also on every floor there is an ice machine ours wasn't working when we were here but it wasn't a problem we just went up to floor eight where there is also laundrette facilities i believe they are two dollars for the washing machines and two dollars for the dryer the washing machine took around 25 minutes whereas the dryer took about 45 minutes there is two shelves underneath here and then in this little cupboard here there is a fridge i will just show you there is nothing inside the fridge other than some hawaiian punch that we've been drinking and the hotel kindly gave us these sweets so i am going to pack these and take them home which will be nice little snacks on the plane there is also a vent just so the air can come out for the fridge and then above that and there is a lovely sized LG television with the remote control behind me. There is also three large drawers. In the top drawer you will find a Bible. You wouldn't usually find towels, I've just put the spare ones in there but I will move them back on there now. It was just for this room's purposes because I wanted to keep it tidy. There is also another lamp. Now I will mention there isn't any ceiling lamps in this room but there is plenty of lighting on the surfaces. There's a large lamp behind me, there's the office lamp and another decorative lamp just here. Next to the vanity is a double wardrobe which is lovely if you would like to unpack your clothes. So I will just show you what is inside. Usually in this bag up here is spare bedding but we had friends stay so we've used all of that bedding and give it to housekeeping already. There are some hangers for you to hang your clothes along with a laundry bag and a list of all the prices of the laundry. I will just pop this over this so you can read it. That is also the address of the hotel if you are interested. I'll just hold that there for you so you can see the prices of the dry cleaning here at the Hyatt Hotel. There is also an iron. There isn't an ironing board which I'm confused about but there is an iron which is great. There is a luggage rack and a little shelf down here which I presume is for your shoes. So that is the wardrobe. There is this very unusual box which is placed on the wall just here. I do believe this is for the air conditioning because as you know if you've been to America most of the hotels in this country do have air conditioning. There is the vent just there with some more to the right of it. There is a lovely double window with blackout blinds which is absolutely fantastic. We were kindly upgraded to a higher floor and the view is lovely. It shows you quite far back, you can see a lot of the lovely buildings and it reminds me of downtown New York a little bit. There's plenty of bus routes in and out of the main city. As I said, we're getting a bus to the airport today. We also got that same bus to the station where we went to Washington yesterday. That was a mistake of mine, sorry. We got the bus to the station and that same train took us to Washington and it's the same train that has taken us to the airport today. Then as I pull back, you will see there is a king size bed. Now this bed is usually a lot neater and a lot more presentable, but as I've said, we are checking out today. So I've tried to make it as neat as possible for you. There is a alarm clock on the bedside table with a lamp and some more plug sockets. And I believe there are some plug sockets underneath, but they are occupied by the lamp and the alarm clock. The bed is very, very comfortable. There was plenty of room for Wayne and I to stretch out, which is wonderful. There is another bedside lamp with another bedside table and some plug sockets. And I believe there is more underneath, which is wonderful. As I've mentioned, there are 14 plug sockets in this room. There is a divider just here because as you can see, we do have a mini living space. Now this just pull out into a double bed it comes out this way so where the bedside cabinet is just there it comes out so you could actually fit two people on this and maybe a small child on that because that isn't part of the actual bed it's just an extra seating area there is a lovely futon for you to put your feet on i'm sure if the hotel gave you a tray you could use it as a coffee table there is some decorative artwork on the wall and a massive beautiful wall lamp i think i'd call it as i said there's no actual ceiling lamps in here and a lovely couch for you to sit and watch the television just there there is the remote for the television also so that is wonderful and another bedside table with two shelves 
and some more plug sockets. Again, as I mentioned, there are 14 in this room and there are also two in the bathroom. This is your air conditioning control, so you can control how hot or how cold you want it. It can turn on to a heating setting also. Now next to the door is the bathroom and the bathroom is operated by this large sliding door. So as you enter the bathroom, you will see it is very spacious. There are two hooks on the wall for you to hang your towels. I often hang my hanging toiletry bag on here because it takes less space of the counters and it's completely out of the way. There is some artwork on the wall and below there is a towel rail. There is a very spacious shower. Now this time we didn't get an accessible room for my disabilities, but it was completely fine. I washed my hair before I came and we've only been here three days, so I'm just gonna wash it when I get home. There is a lovely shower head with a shelf for you to put your toiletries. Handles, which is wonderful. You don't often see that in the rooms at these hotels unless it's an accessible room. There is also some shower gel, shampoo and conditioner from the brand called Kinet MD Hair Care. So if you are a local brand, I believe that my friends really enjoyed these shampoos while they stayed. There is another towel rack on the wall. I'm not gonna show you the floor because we do have our dirty towels down there, but there is a small shelf, which I will just hover over. And that could be used for you to pop your feet on if you were trying to shave your legs. And there is plenty of space in the shower with a sliding door. Next to the shower, there is a trash can behind the toilet, along with the toilet itself, which is very self-explanatory. I don't need to go into much information about that. And next to the toilet is a very large vanity with some toilet paper, a hairdryer as well, and a shower mat, which is really helpful, and plenty of under sink space. You can put plenty of storage under there. There is a basin with some taps. And on here, there is usually toiletries but we gave them to our friends because they are traveling through Peru and we don't know how sparse the shops are going to be so they've got plenty of toiletries with them. We've got some hand soap which doesn't come with the hotel, some facial tissues and some spare toiletries that we're just going to leave for the housekeeping but they will probably bin them. There are some light switches and the two plug sockets that I previously told you about and also a hand towel rail and a big mirror. So that brings you to the end of our room tour here at the Hyatt Place in a harbour. It is a fantastic location. The harbour is less than a 13 minute walk to the aquarium. There's plenty of shops and restaurants. There is also a place called Fells Point, so please check that out. I will link it in the description box below. But thank you so much for watching this very unusual room tour. As I said, we usually do it as we check in, but we are checking out to fly home back to the UK. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye.